Okay, welcome to Otis Web Development, um, where I write code. That, that's about it. Uh, so let me decide how I want to do this. Um. So, last time I, th I ran this, uh, the feature request was that I wanted a way to automate the storing of hints. That's mostly in written out, and at some point I'm going to hopefully um, actually start populating that database. Uh, today there's a different feature that I want to implement, which is that right now there's this thing where um, people can suggest... Right now when you submit a unit for Otis, you can suggest some problems to add to it. and uh, today I went through and did like seven or eight problems from that backlog, but there's like another like two or three hundred and Basically at the rate I'm going I'm never going to be able to keep up with the rate uh, People are giving me good problems to add So what I want to do is actually have it built into the website where you can submit a well, You can submit a problem and solution through the website and then that will streamline a lot the process of adding in suggestions and I'm hoping that if I do this I'll be able to keep up more because I won't have to like you know manually find the problem type up the problem type up the solution myself and then like squeeze it in so let's see if this works so first thing I want to do is I'm going to find the model um, model stuff for and key for dump. First, I'm going to link each submission to a student on delete models that cascade. If I delete a student, I probably delete all the suggestions. Is Cascade the right thing here? I don't really want to allow this to be null, I think. I think I never delete students anyways, so it should be okay. And help text. And I'm gonna suggest the problem. And then each one is tied to a unit. So models for and key cluster dot models dot unit. Uh, sorry, this unit is a core model. And we'll say models dot cascade again. And help text equals the unit to suggest the problem for. And then, what, else, what other fields do I want? So I want a statement of the problem. This should be a long character field. And I never remember, let's see if the only complete's working. No. Something about the virtual env has messed up all of my um, auto completion, which is very sad because I kind of. Yeah, that's sad. Wow, the, jet, the version of Jedi in here is actually more recent than the one I have on the system.
It's just not worth it though. Our solution is going to be checked before being added somewhere. Uh, good question. I I will probably look at them. I'm not going to blind, blindly copy paste them. Probably just in part because I I do a lot of editing. In particular, when you look at solutions inside Math Database. So let me pull up. Yeah, here's a random problem. Um, I care a lot that the source code is readable. That you can look at the source code and it reads like text. Um, most people don't do this. Like most people type their LaTeX like write only. Like they don't make any effort into putting line breaks in reasonable places so that like the lines don't overflow, or like they don't put a space between. You know they don't put spaces when they don't need them. So like their displayed equations are all like cramped together. Um, I actually have to maintain my thing because I edit it. So I take the time to make the source code for all my LaTeX readable as well. Um, I don't most expect most people to do this, so as a corollary, it means I will have to do a lot of editing no matter what. Uh, it's unclear whether I will catch small errors. Like, if you make a small typo, I probably won't notice, though. Okay, is the field called text field? Yeah, text field. Uh, statement of the problem in the tech. tech. Okay, and then problem solution. You know, I don't. I don't. Uh, invalid syntax. What did? It, oh, pff, I put a period outside the. Solution to the problem in the tech. And let's add a remarks field. Comments stop text field. I mean comments. Do you think I should ask people about the weights? Like I could also put a field that's like two, three, five, nine. Uh That is the thing I could do. Would that be a good field to include? Uh, Positive small integer feel. I really not have. You know, I, I really should figure out why the Omni complete isn't working because it's so hard to like have to look up every single freaking. Uh, well, whatever. 2, 2, 3, 3, 5, 5, 9, 9. Hmm. This one I'm gonna allow to be blank. This one does not mandatory. Required equals false. Blank equals true. So people can suggest the oh, very important the source. Should include a source. Source of the problem. E.g. Uh, use some. Uh, I don't know. Sure, this two thousand eighteen eighty seven. And I want a short description. This is a car field, because I don't want it to be a text box. It's maxed uh, at 60 characters, I think is safe. I don't think any source should require more than 60 characters. And description can be a little longer, up to 100 characters, but uh, a one line summary of problem, e.g., uh, quality.
blank equals true. I'm glad the field is called help text and not help because help gets highlighted in funny ways. Okay, what other fields should I have on the model? Uh, I also want the... We want, I want a status field. Um, where I want to be able to say whether I've checked off a certain... Whether I've processed a certain request or not. So I can either make this... If I think I'm only going to say checked or not checked, um, then... I can just make this a boolean field, but I probably will end up... I have to think this through. Uh... I probably want to say more than that. I want to say it's like accepted like you would, I like to tell people like thank you when they submit a problem and I actually use it or I try to think of a word that's nicer than rejected because it also feels pretty bad if it's not taken um I think it's better if I make this a text field actually. So we'll make a we'll just make a boolean field, which is default equals false, help text equals um, whether uh, staff has processed this. If default value is just false, and reason equals models dot text field, help text equals. Uh, staff reason for okay this is going to be blank because initially the staff won't do anything oh well, thank you was true Uh, what do I, what do I name this? Uh, what we'll heart review notes? Okay, so that's my model. Uh, that's fine. So Python. Uh, let's come. Okay, anything else I should add on to here? Student unit weight source description. Let's first make sure this compiles. Required. It's uh What do you mean unexpected keyword required? Is it null? Uh sorry, it's no equals true, blank equals true? I never remember now. Right, required is not... Required is for forms, okay. Okay. Make migrations. Let's do the migration. That's cool. 
Um, next, what I want is I want to immediately hook this into the admin interface. So admin.py or admin.register this new model dashboard.models. The autocomplete just does not work. It's a pain. Like, why doesn't why doesn't the autocomplete work? Uh, I need to figure out why. It's a real pain. Class problem suggestion admin model admin this display. So on the list, I'd like to see. ID, student, the source, reviewed, description. This is what I want to see in the admin interface. And I'm being silly. I should have this window on this to the side here so I can look at both at the same time. Search fields that I want will include. Oh, yeah, I think I want to search everything. Void, source, description, statement, solution, comments. Actually, wait is a useless search field. I, I never want to. There's no situation in which I want to switch my weight, and even if I do, I should filter instead. Okay. Uh, this filter? Probably by unit. Group. Uh, models. Unit. Group. Yeah, unit. Group. You know, might be useful as well. Student semester. Okay. So. Okay, my server is still running. I should move the server to a different screen that I'm not using. And let's see if that works. Some suggestions. So in the M interface by group. Yeah, this should just be by unit group. I think the unit is too coarse. It's not or too sorry, too fine. There's too many cool. And yeah, I could right put a student in, I can put a unit in. Honestly, a unit should be an autocomplete field. Uh, auto, let's do that. Autocomplete fields equals. Student unit. There we go. So this is autocompleted. Okay, great. So, okay, semester description content. Yeah, that's fine. So, that's the admin interface. Uh, wait, I should add the migration first. Let's amend that. That's important. Uh, shit. No, that's not what I want to do. Oh, jeez. Uh. Okay. I okay, so... Here. There we go. So, migrations... Oh, problem suggestion model. And then we'll add the admin. Problem suggestion admin interface. Okay, great. So, what is next? So, now the model exists, and I want to give students a way to 
fill out a suggestion. So I need to write a new view. And I did this sort of last week, so Honestly, I wonder whether this should just be a separate page. Um, like, I could have it. So, let's see. Local host 8000. So, I could have it like here as another row to the increasingly large table next to Arch. Or alternatively, I could do a thing where there's just a single link called like suggest problem here and then it's not it doesn't really discriminate by um unit or whatever I think people are more likely to use it if I have a link here per Yeah, I think it's better if I have a column here per unit. So Okay, I did this yesterday, or nice. I did this last week with Arch, so let me read that code to remind myself how this system works. Okay, so list view, update view, delete view. I want to create view because we would like to create things. To be honest, okay, what I really should do is I should have a, a list view and then a create view. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's start with the create view. That's the most important one. It's not even a big deal if I never get around to implementing a edit view. So, edit view. Problem, suggestion. Okay, so on this field, the ones I want editable are unit. Wait. Okay, so this is the initial thing. I don't remember how... Okay. I haven't used the junk code too long.
Okay, so form valid self form form dot instance dot student equals Okay, so how do I extract the student ID? <laughs> I'd like to get it out of the... This one should have a login record. Okay, so login required Nixon. And Request quarks. Quarks student ID. Okay, so on paper, this is supposed to be the whole thing, I think. Uh, models is not defined. <sighs> Shame on me. Oh, my code is a mess. The import dashboard, which should be like from dot. Wow, okay. I'm glad this is a small one person project and not <laughs> Okay, so let's add this. Okay, so first of all I want to upgrade this because these are URLs are quite stale. This really needs updating. Int student int in ID int student ID. Sorry. Okay, I will need to make sure these URLs all still work because I just changed a bunch of them. Okay, it seems to be fine. Okay, 
Okay, so let's... Yeah. Migrate URLs in... This was the dashboard model, right? Okay, and now... Okay, so now let's add in the one I want. So we have a problem. So suggest was a student ID in unit ID. Okay, and okay, like the other one for I like to include the initial. So you know, initial equals super dot get initial initial problem. Our unit equals self dot quarks. It's a mandatory argument for unit ID. So we'll fill that in. I'm going to turn it into show. Okay, finally, um, let's give this URL a name. Sorry, why is no, it not nodes? Well, I'm bad at this copy paste thing. Problem suggest create as view. Name equals We'll put a slash new here. Templates dashboard. Uh, shoot, it should be form. Whatever. Okay, and where was I? Right, I wanted to put this into the template main portal template. Let's make a column now. Do I want to use that as a criteria? Maybe it's just use root I is visible. Uh but I already forgot I called the URL. Suggest new row.unit.ad.
All right. Error. Problem. Oh, there's no underscore. God freaking computers. Again. Wow, that, that worked better than I thought it would. Hey, it's actually vi minimally viable. You could, in principle, uh, nine, twenty fifteen, six. Uh, pin. No URL to redirect to. I thought I didn't have to. Okay. Get success URL. What's the signature of this method? Return reverse lazy. Actually, I want to see if this works. Can I do quarks equals self.quarks? Is that a thing I'm allowed to do? Uh, But no message. Okay, so I would like a message that says successfully inputted. Um, so that requires me to use the messages module. Okay, let's do that. As a successfully submitted suggestion. It's like a tongue twister. Thanks so much. Smiley face. Uh, that probably means that in he in here I have a bunch of garbage from refreshing a bunch of times. It's nice to have that sidebar. That's probably broken in Arch, actually, given that I didn't implement it there anywhere. Uh, that's rough. No big deal. Okay, so...
that's fine. So that is the suggestion create list form. What else do I need to implement? So I'd like to be able to view a list of the suggested problems. And I want an admin panel that lets me review all of the um, Yeah, I want an admin panel that lets me view all of the existing suggestions and mark them as resolved. That's what I want. Well, I wonder if I can just use the this thing. Is that good enough? That's pretty clunky. But it would save me the effort of having to code it. Uh, Maybe I'll worry about the admin view for a different session uh, and just get the student view up first. Uh, so we like an edit view. Okay, well, so we need a, I want an edit view and a list view. So the edit view is easy. It's basically, the, it's almost exactly the same. Uh, all I have to do is Change this a tiny bit. Edit. Just so this lets the student make edits. Um, Frick, it's called update. I always mix that up. Update. Update. Uh, so just, let's see if this works. Do I need a slash or something? Oh. Okay, it seems to work. I'm glad that this works. This will save me a lot of effort, actually. Just list args. Lazy suggest list. 
Well, let's have a redirect to itself. So. Message. Uh, oh, do I, did I forget how to use the message? Oh, frick. Okay, great. So now we have an edit view as well. So now what I would like is a list for each Why don't we just do it by student? I don't think it's necessary to break it down. Suggestion list as view suggest list. Okay, so Students, I'll talk quarks, return dashboard models dot problem suggestion dot filter student equals student dot order by you know. Come to think of it, I probably should have a field that says date submitted. That seems like an important field. <laughs> uh, so that I can sort this reverse chronologically. I could also just sort it by ID though, that's equivalent. Do I need to keep track of how long it's been since someone submitted it? I think that's nice to know, let's, let's do that. Alright, uh, auto. Create it up. Oh man, make Okay, so models and oh and six. So this is this will let me allow us to just keep track of what the suggestions come in. Okay, so uh, I think the reviewed field should actually be called resolved. Let me make that change. Uh, resolved is a more descriptive name, and I haven't used that field yet. So resolved. Viewed. Did you rename? Yes.
Okay, hold on. Suggestions. All right, that's fine. Okay, so get to. Well, views. Let's make sure the. Hey, start here. Uh -huh. Um, bare bones, submission, edit, form for suggestions. Suggestion list on okay, and then for um, pop. all right, bare bones, bare bones. So Also, that is wrong. New suggestion is the wrong title. Uh, well, I'll just be lazy and say problem suggestion. So that it covers both cases because I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so back. So here's how you can as uh, a PK. What do you mean, primary? Oh, freak. Uh, should we do an ID? Problem. A lot of fixes. Okay, cool. It's working as intended. Um. Okay, uh, what's next? So I want to make one quick change to models here. I want to define a string.
Okay, so here's the string representation for the suggestion model. And from suggestion list. Ah, uh, whatever. We're gonna override that later. Don't need to commit it. Okay, so that's actually, so as far as student views go, the base is there. I think the main thing is, obviously the, the student menu should look a lot better, or the student list view looks, should look a lot better. There should be a link to that. And this, I want to improve this because this is kind of hard to use right now. What I really want is to, um, make this lot text sensitive so I can yeah I, I probably might want to redesign this form manually because this form is different yeah so let's do the easy stuff first the easy stuff is linking things so first on the on the students portal I would like to give them a link to problem suggestions. Where here do I put it? It's probably under academic. Okay, so link. Oh, frick. <laughs> you had one job! <laughs> Okay, show suggestions list. Okay, and then the next job is to make this a lot nicer. Okay, so span so if suggestion dot resolved. So we'd like to give a link to edit it. I think it's best represented by suggestion dot source for suggestion dot unit dot group. I already forgot the fields. Uh, review notes.
suggestion update. Oh, frick. What did I call it? Suggest. It's not a suggestion. Okay, and let me try date. Suggestion. Let's say we process. Okay, so I got the sort order wrong. I want the... No, this is right. I want the unresolved ones on top. Uh, the... Okay, cool. Alright, so that is much prettier. Um, So this uh -huh. okay. Next, I want to update this form to be linked back. Hang on, something's from the view. Uh -huh. yeah, there should be. I thought I copied these lines. Get context data. Uh -huh, so.
Uh, it's useless line of text. Okay, so. Cool. The last thing I need to do is mess with the law tech. And for this, I don't even know if generic form is the right thing to use. I might want to hard code this entire form. Um, Okay, so Okay, we're going to render this field manually because there's a lot of some of the So this part, I'm just gonna. Uh, this part's the same. Okay, so I'll. I just write the thing, right? I wonder if unit should be a hidden. No. Hmm. I'm still behind schedule. <laughs> Echo dismiss. Um. Right, so I want to do this for unit weight source description. Actually, here. This is the correct line. Uh, this can be two things. As crispy field, so this calls span equals two. Uh, and form dot description.
wait, two, three, five, okay, cool. So these render correctly. Now for the hard part. Um, can I choose which widget I would like to use? I, okay, well, let's see. Let me see what the baseline is. So foreign dot statement. If I just do that. Speaking of which, why is my form class so narrow? I feel like I. Is there a reason this is so narrow? Where does that get set? Body. From the calendar. Echo dismiss. Nope. I don't get it. Where where is that with being set? With auto imports it. Why did I have that line? It seems to just waste space. I don't know what that line's there for, but I'm getting rid of it. Static, so Otis Web Static, CSS. Actually, let's look at the good blame. What was I thinking when I wrote that line? I was fighting with Bootstrap. I don't know what I was doing, but I don't think that line should be here. Oh, I see. Um, mm. Yeah, I should just take up the whole width. That's fine. Actually, it looks pretty bad. There, there are certain places where I want to take up the whole width, and certain places I don't. Um, But this is presumably the option. Bootstrap table don't take whole with. I see, I have to... <sighs> okay.
Eh, maybe it looks better that way. The exam one doesn't, but, uh... What did I call it? Table dash non fluid. You know what? Let's just leave it. Whatever. Okay, um, I want to remember how I, how do I do the autocomplete again? I use the generic form. How did I do that? Uh, it's on the list. Oh, let's see. That thing's on the list page. Wait, how did I get it so that it was the autocomplete?
Eh, okay, it was in the template. Uh, somewhere I had the... I see, I remember now. I wonder if that should globally... Like I have it on this page, but I could do that on every thing that has a unit because the unit dropdown is kind of useless other without it. Yeah, I feel like this should go be global commands. Um, well, maybe I'll worry about that later. That seems like a big change that might break some stuff, so... Let's not touch that yet. The thing that I care about is, right now, I want to have a thing that will let me compile tech. So I need to look at the... Mathjax documentation for this. Do I have jQuery on my page? Yes, okay. Metrics. Uh, math Jax preview. This guy, let's see how this is done.
Okay, so... Button classes, button primary. Let's do that. Okay, so there's a button here. That's not supposed to submit the form, whatever. Um, equal statement. Okay, time to use the worst programming language in the world. Prevent default. And um statement render dot inner okay, what's this text fields ID? ID statement. Avail. And then I need to call MathJax. So let's see. MathJax.
Okay, so it is being escaped. Cool. That's what I make. I'll make sure. And all right, why does the mess jacks render it? Mass type set clear. Is math checks even loaded? Looks like it. Uh, Why won't you work? Oh, I hit JavaScript. Mathshacks.types are clear. It's not a function. Okay, maybe that's an issue. Um. Okay. It is not a function. Okay, so Okay. Please work. Ha ha! It worked. It's magical. Okay. I want to color it differently just because I want to indicate that it's. Okay, um, render tech. Okay. 
I'm, I feel bad doing this because you're not supposed to have global variables in JavaScript. It's like taboo, but I don't actually know what the correct idiom is otherwise. Uh, okay, fine. I'll do it correctly. Oh, okay, so var render enabled equals false. Prevent default render enable. There's a button disabled, right? There's a way I can disable a button. Echo dismiss. Okay, and then function render Okay, and Okay, so statement Query on unfocus is what I want. Focus out, blur. What's the difference? Okay, cross fingers, JavaScript. Uh, Disabled is not quite what I want. I think this is the UI is actually flipped from what I want. What should the default be? Let's make the let's make the default true. Uh, so the default is true.
I should change the font here, huh? To be honest, uh, I shouldn't have done that. Because I want to call both functions actually at the start of the page. Amazing, works. Okay, there was one other thing I wanted to do. Uh, this should be monospaced because it's source code. So, id solution, id statement. Super pretty suggestion for, and we will. I'll work on the admin interface later. So we'll need to do that right now. Okay, so let's.
Ta da! <sighs> well, that is that. Uh, thanks for those of you that stuck around. I hope that was at least a little entertaining or interesting or something. I don't know. This is what it looks like whenever I code, basically, is what I wanted to say. Um, I think probably people who actually know what they're doing would be a bit faster than this. You can see I had to, basically every step I had to keep looking up either how I did it in a past file or look up the documentation. Uh, but I imagine if you're a professional programmer, you probably like just know the correct keywords. It would also help my if my autocomplete works. Uh, I need to figure out why that's not working. <laughs> it's a big struggle. Okay. Now that is all for today. Thanks for coming through. See y'all.